Greetings everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in the end of a new beginning mod for Hearts of Iron 4. And we are playing as Prussia because, well, it was recommended that I play as Prussia. So, I'll be honest here, I don't have a lot of experience with this mod at the time of this recording, but we're going to learn this mod as best as we can. So, from my understanding though, this basically is an attempt to be, from what it looks like, Vicky 2 in Hearts of Iron 4, because things are a little crazy and we have Legacy of Klausowitz, but technology, now usually I do all the stuff off screen, but I wanted to share with you what, wow, this is all about, wow, that's a, Kyo Canal Preparations, that's a long time ahead in time, so we're going to learn this together, but if you already know how to play this mod, please let me know in the comments below, um, but more legislative power gain, monthly population encryption, sounds good to me, uh, we've got four research slots, obviously, as you can see, let's see, what is this, stratification, social stratification, more stability sounds good to me. And we'll grab some Saint Simonianism. Cool. Sounds great. As well as uh, aviation. Ooh, air accidents chances. Not bad. That could probably wait. Electronics. Anything for research speed here? 1850. Um, division recovery rate. Rec reconnaissance. Ooh, plus 10. Ooh, I like that. More soft attack and research efficiency gain. But I do see that it's 1857, May 11th. Ooh, that's not bad either. So, it looks like we're a little bit behind on a few things here. Oh, supply consumption goes down. Yeah, this this really... It just it just looks like, to me, this is Vicky 2 so far for End of a New Beginning. And we have a lot of slots for shared buildings. We have civilian industry. We've got military industry. We've got naval dockers like normal. We have, eventually, we can get oil refineries, industrial fuel silos, rubber refineries, modern fuel silos, rocket sites, coal mines. Now, if I understand this correctly, this mod is trying to go from 1857 eventually to 2050. So, this is going to take a long time to get exactly where we need to go. So, I'm not exactly sure what to build. Cotton farms, textile mills, coal mines, logging camps. And right now, let's take a look at our trade. So, we've got our normal resources. But we also have coal, wood, fabric. We need machine parts and electronics. So we've got enough coal, fabric, and wood. We need machine parts and electronics. Uh, we got wood, steel. We do get, to, eh, we don't really need more steel right now. Machine parts. Well, we can't quite do that yet. Uh, farms. I like the weekly manpower. How we try that? We'll put farms in East Berlin. Infrastructure. Let's build a lot of infrastructure up infrastructure, because I love infrastructure. Germany will have the best roads in the world. So, very good. Very good. Cool. And there you go. Man, there's a lot of little slots here. Uh, I've, and before that, maybe we build up. Oh, how long will it take to build that? Ooh, not too long. What is the cost for each one? 6,000. Maybe we'll build one civilian industry, maybe? Berlin's split into two, so. Let's begin with the focus, shall we? So we got a unique focus for here. Prussian foreign politics doesn't look too bad. Let's get some more stability. Prussian colonial ambition seems not too bad, which seems like a, like a lot of fun. Maybe we should grab a colony or something. The Prussian economy and army with a state. Von Milk Tea. Huh. I'll do the Prussian economy. For long, the Prussian economy has prospered under its own conditions, but we are falling behind in adapting our economy to the trends of industrialization. A state that lags behind in economics lags behind in superiority. This we must recognize. So let's let time go on. Ooh. Oh, good lord. Oh, the Sepoy stuff. And here are all the events and decisions. So, And the mods we're using are the end of a new beginning mob, the state transfer tool mob, as well as... Ooh, we got some horses. Some board guns. The uh, piece of conference state, end in, state transfer tool mod, end of a new beginning. There's only three mods of reasoning. And I'll be honest here, early convoys seem not too bad. Uh, like, I don't have a lot of experience with this mod, as you can tell. So, I'm not really sure what we're building here. Is this a capital ship? Jesus Christ. Uh, it's hard to tell what, what what's what. So, um, name theme. Historical. Okay. Well, we could probably close out of these three then. Corvettes? Frigates? No, oh, they're all Corvettes. We got a lot of... Holy crap, you got a lot of costs. You are a capital ship. These Corvettes, not sure. These Corvettes, probably... And they're all... That's a bit... I'll go for the number, the big numbers. There we go. All right, let's, let's see what happens. Oh, boy. This is going to lag hard, isn't it? Because I'm trying to rearrange everything here. And even for these divisions, like... We've got... Ooh, GitHub version. Um, It's a community-driven project. Worked on many devs at the time. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Um, so this is the one that's on the Steam Workshop, obviously. Um, that's the only one I'm probably going to be using for a while because I don't like to do stuff 
with the GitHub because I've got too many other models to get to. So, getting a brush up, great power, we're six in the world, power projection of 265. I swear to God, this is just like this is trying to be Victoria 2 and Hoy 4. And I don't think it's going to be able to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to make any judgments too early just because I don't know what this mod is about. Maybe it's a tremendous mod and, and a lot of people swear by it. And I don't want to be negative at all about it. Don't get me wrong. But. I'll be honest here, this is probably the closest thing we're going to get to Prussia on this channel during this, this time period. Um, on this channel, and not, and not in Vicky 2, just saying. So, we got National Identity, we're led by Otto Theodor von Manteuffel, uh, Brandenburg, Prussian subculture, the German culture is also the state official culture. Uh, what do we have here? Anything? No? No? Our religion is Protestantism, thank goodness. Uh, but we got to get a good number of Catholics and a few Jews here too, so, very cool, very cool. State of the country, Friedrich Wilhelm IV is here. Doesn't look like he helped us that much. Can we replace him? The head of state. Can I remove him? Oh, okay. Let's see. We have a something here. We have a strong air. We have industrializing. Von Theodor von Manteuffel holds a speech. Today is a day on which Otto Theodor von Manteuffel is going to give a speech to our people. The procedure is expected to go smoothly, seeing how our government has yet has been very stable in the last months. So the people will love it. Uh, Victorian era. Wow, it does not look very good. But, obviously we're trying to push through different eras to make sure that we can uh, post-digital era. Improve ourselves. Prussian Victorian army. Oh, there goes Seminole. And the USA exists. Which looks kind of ugly. Because high political stability. The reason our sphere of influence in our country has spread yet again. Furthering our political grasp. Our policies rarely get denied. And thanks to our guidance, the Kingdom of Prussia is a politically stable uh, stance. It's in a politically stable stance. This is proof of our efficiency. Yeah, there's a lot of Native American tribes out here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Shamanism? That's not bad. Apache? Yeah, not obviously not a huge population. Mormon territory? Yeah. Or Utah territory. So I saw Mormon, so I'm like, oh. Oh, what is that? Madoc? Cool. And we got a lot of decisions here. Wow. And the Dominican Republic is killing itself. Okay, then. All right. Oh, that looks like a wild. And Africa exists. Look at that. Uh, there is an option to unify all of Africa together, so we might do that eventually. I don't know. Morocco looks... This looks really... The game isn't ugly. It's just like there's just so many different states here. Like, Jesus Christ. And the game has to process all these... Ha, huh, it's crazy. We can encourage Prussian centrism. Actually, who are we led by? We have the author conservative Traditional conservatists. Uh, okay. Alt liberal. Centrists. The end of the New Chateau crisis, our relationship with the Principality of New Chateau has been strained over the previous century. We came to own it in 1707, and over the next century, it switched hands between us and the French twice. In 1815, Frederick Wilhelm III of Prussia decided to allow the small Principality to join the Swiss Confederation while still remaining our, under our effective control. Yet, in 1848, those ungrateful dogs revolted against our rule. Since then, we've been pressuring or been pressing our claim to the region. We finally thought the Swiss might conceive as New Chateau, monarchists loyal to the Prince revolted, but now, with the support of the British, they were rebuted our claim. We are forced to allow the independence of the small province. The shame upon the honor of the kingdom of Prussia shall not be forgotten. Alright then. Uh, national spirits. We have the Zolverein, which reminds me immediately of um, Albert Speer and TNL. But overwhelming political stability. Not having experienced any difficulties, our government is now known as a very stable one among our neighbors. Passing laws is nowhere close to a troublesome process anymore, but instead a fast and efficient routine. Kingdom of Prussia is truly in a period of Political prosperity. We have a bright future ahead of us, hopefully. Uh, Prussian Victorian Army. We have Protestantism. Governmental policies. Um, governmental structures. Basic human rights. Oh, a Sharia constitution. Ooh. Uh, no elections. That's good. Executive powers. Executive influence. We have federalism. Federal control. And placeholder. Placeholder. Cool. What other do we have here? We have the Wiener Munzvertrag. Which, okay. And we also have the Legacy of Clausewitz, which hurts our land auction. We have General Staub. We have the Landwehr, which doesn't look great, but not terrible. We have member of the German Confederation, which is okay. And we have medium-scale railways, which isn't too bad. All right, anything else? Cultural... Oh, my goodness, there's so much here. Demographic policies. Stagnation. Disencourage. Disencourage, yeah. Restricted. Oh, you know, nope, reproducing here. Encouraged. Okay, so the Prussian economy. What do we want to do? Preußische Stadt Eisenbahnen. Infrastructure construction speed is not too bad. Foreign trade treaties. Um, what do we want? Well oiled economy. A new Germany. We would like to do that eventually. Obviously, it's 1857. We got to create the NGF or. Oh, always false. We got to create. Break the dualism. 
The North German Federation, Confederation, Fred German Unification, North German Confederation, oh. May show as two for some players, even if they're not. It can only be taken once you perform the NGC after winning the Seven Weeks War against the Austrians, so we will have to fight with them eventually, so we gotta be ready for that. Uh, Dreiser Rifle? Dreiser Rifle. How long does that last? For a while, hopefully. Um, support, da 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 da. Well, economic legislation, maybe? Trade law deals, eh, it's not bad, not bad. I really, I'll be honest, I have no idea. So, trade and commerce. We need to support the growth of trade and commerce to secure financial security for our state of affairs. All right. And let's take a look at decisions. Urban growth attracts people to cities. Our country's been industrializing for some time now, and this growing industry of Persian cities is attracting many people into the big cities, especially our capital. Develop the homeland gives another building slot. Pursue the dream of flight, not a bad idea. We'd like to get to the machine era eventually, but it has to be 1880. Wurttemberg stands against liberalism. Um, okay, well, whatever. Encourage Prussian centrism, disinherit our heir, I don't know about that. Gather war support, a new museum. We've established a new museum for historical artifacts and antiques from Poland and the Slavic territories in Posen. This will be a boon to our education and culture. Great. Cool, and we currently get 0 0.5, 0 0.4, oh, oh, it's legislative power, it's just political power. Why do you call it legislative power? Hmm. All right, P gather political legitimacy. Gains 5% political stability, so we have political stability. Let's do these effects, which helps us out, versus national stability. Hmm. War support, good legitimacy is always nice, which kind of hurts us a little bit, actually. And we have total manpower pool here, factories, so maybe we want more political stability. Convert to, convert to Catholicism. Start to secularize kingdom of Prussia? Nope. Ask Hanover for amnesty access, arrest opposition leaders, ban opposition parties. We can influence people. Kona Carnival. We get... Slightly more stability, which would not be bad. Weekly stability goes down, though, because call. Maybe I should get rid of them. Hold a world fair would be kind of nice. I kind of want to do the one political stability. Legitimacy, maybe. Wow, you can tell this, this lags hard. Holy crap. 5% uh, political stability. Um, let's see what happens. There you go. Political stability goes up by... The Prussian Postal Service. The Prussian Postal Service has been in operation since 1806, but only as recently as 1850 had Prussia got its own postal stamps. Now, with the recent administrative reforms and expansion of the system, it is working better than ever. Good. Develop the Prussian homeland. Alright. Mind Creek influence. Disinherit our heir. Like, is he seriously our heir? Because I will get rid of the guy. Where is the heir? Oh, no, he's a. Oh, he's partially paralyzed. That's why. Can we get rid of him? I don't like him. I want to get rid of him. Please let me get rid of him. I don't like that. Uh, okay, well, regardless. Hold on. And actually, look at this. Switch pages. You got military high command, minister of war, uh, more division attack, organization, recovery rate. Not fit for the selected position. Using this advisor in this position may lead to problems. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll probably go with attack. Sure, why not? More power than the chief of the army. No assigned position. Organization. So we got to choose either one of these two. We're going to go with organization. Vice chief of the army. Uh, infantry division is not bad. I like defense. We'll do infantry stuff. Uh, quartermaster. Let's see. Let's grab the quartermaster. Morale, defense, division defense is pretty good. Chief of the Personnel. I'm not sure this is going to be really good for us or not, but we'll see what happens. Let's grab that, and Inspector General. Yeah, recovery rate. Infantry Defense might be really good to get, so... Oh, that's really not, that's not too bad, though. Oh, that's really nice. There you go. Air Force, Army, Navy. Different power levels. Navy. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Uh, naval XP gain. Ooh. I guess we'll choose you. Why not? Chief of the Navy. Um, what do we want here? Naval XP... Convoy reading fishes and Gregory Chica found dead. This is not concerning us, okay? Well, whatever. And we want who do we want? Who well, doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care. I guess that's the only person we can do. Naval Operations General. There you go, you can have that position. Coastal operations. I mean capital ship stuff. Marine operations, old guard, no thank you. I don't like old guards too much. Naval speed, convoy rating efficiency. Yeah, I'm gonna go convoy rating. Yachman. And we do have an Air Force, so that's okay with me. Alright, so there's that. We also have internal politics here, too, which is... Reform our country. 
Oh, and we're getting chemistry. And we got all that stuff done. Nice. Reform a country. To vote laws and policies enacted on the nation. Only way to change them in a democracy and votes are felt to the parliament to decide. But of course, you can sway those votes with a little legitimacy cost. Reform this law. We can reform things. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me know in the comments below if we should reform anything here. Because should we... Ooh, partial mobilization might not be bad. Executive order, vote for the reform. Can only be used once every 30 days. Uh, if you're not in a third-tier regime, you will lose political stability. Um, wow. Okay. Well then, I'm just going to ignore that then. Hmm. Daily legislative powers. Arrest opposition. That's probably not a good thing to do. Homeland's not always bad to do. Oh, research and production. Panic of 1857. All right then. Oh, it's in the United States. Well, that's not good for them. Oh well. That's kind of cool. I like this. What can be the end of all b this but another general collapse? James Gordon Bennett, the rails give way. Eh, mechanical engineering might not be bad. Krupp Gustal Fabrik Essen. Krupp Gus. You know, something. Factory in Essen. Okay. Heart attack. Oh, I like the soft attack. I want lots of soft attack, so. Oh, and we have research to do. Oh, all four are done already. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Consumer goods, that's okay. Monthly population is okay. Process engineering. Construction speed? Sure, why not? I like wrought iron. How about we grab construction speed? Okay, let's do that one. And obviously industrializing is super, super important. Anything there? Maybe, maybe not. Research speed? Yes, please. We like the research speed. And what else do we have? Factory output. Factory output. What about land auction? I've, I've not explored this at all, as you can tell. Innovation, industry, tradition, artillery. Artillery is pretty darn nice. I love artillery. Industry might not be bad. Daily army speed goes up by a little bit, but we get stuff 2% of the budget, more daily stuff anyways. Research speed. Hmm. Armor. Wow. Oh, armor. Why do you get armor? Wait, what? We don't have any armor, do we? Eh. Attack. 2% more attack versus this base output, factory output. And this one is industry. This one's an innovation. This one, out of supply, construction speed. Um, that stuff is all okay. This one is tradition. Recovery rate, reinforce rate, no effect, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Special forces, winter, heat. I like innovation, but there's not a lot of just direct benefits. So, and artillery. This one, supply consumption, just more soft attack. Artillery, artillery. Wow, you focus extremely heavily on artillery. I want to go to artillery. Let's go with that one. Oh, 725 days. Holy crap. We'll do it anyways. we got four research slots, right? Cool. And let's let time go on. It looks like all our boys are trained, which gets me over here because we have infantry, right? We have just our normal line infantry because it's the 19th century. You have a total of eight other things you can choose from. Mounted infantry, which is, I think, not too bad. Irregulars are irregulars. Line infantry, of course, which is comparable to light infantry versus line infantry. So... There are not that many different stats between them. This has slightly more organization. This has slightly less HP. This uses slightly less, slightly more weight. But light infantry actually use more supply, it looks like. Yeah. Levy infantry. I like to get some cannons on her, guys. I assume that, like, 20 combat width is still pretty good. And also we have four different types of horses, which is just crazy, but makes sense. Dragoons versus heavy cavalry versus light cavalry, which gives you slight bit of recon, which is nice. And lancers, so... If you know what the good template is for this uh, mod, please let me know, because that's looking a little wild here. Um, anything else? Process show Marina. How do you... So decisions to expand our fleet. I would like to colonize. How do we colonize? Uh, I've heard people can do that, so. Foreign politics. Policy towards Britain. European politics. Policy towards France. Uh, what are the following must be happen? Hoc si flota. Oh, so we need Marine des Norddeutschen Bundes. Hoc si flota. So we need high seas fleet. Okay. Preussische Marine. Our Navy must not be neglected if we want to be taken serious as a global power. Wow, we are really out of a lot of stuff, aren't we? Alright, let's see. Anything else here? Ask. Ban opposition. Encourage centrism. Gather war support. Our stability keeps going down. God dang it. Uh, legislative power. Less army speaking. More weekly war support. But nothing to help upset the political power, the stability that we lose. Ooh, the Kona Carnival. It's only 25 political power, why not? Do we actually get anything here? Oh no. We'll see. Alright. 
Cool. And we can only get 0.7. Not too bad. That's that's a little better than earlier. So, uh, yeah. We got the pursue of the dreams of flight. Air XP, I guess. That wouldn't be too bad. Yep. I guess we'll select it. Why not? Because we can. Well, let's see. Landtag, current president, Berliner Entomologische Zeitschrift. The Berliner uh, EZ is a peer-reviewed open-access scientific journal covering systematic and taxonomic entomology that has recently had its first releases and is already enjoying great success. Nice. So, current president, there's nothing we can really do here? No, there's nothing we can really do here. So, we have some more divisions, which are kind of nice. There you go. I'm not... Yeah... Oh man, this game. I, I don't know. This this mod chugs super. And I know there's a way to unite Africa, but I don't know. I want to experience it in its full power. Naval infrastructure, infrastructure maintenance. Wow. Executive order can only be as much as three days. Been power. You will lose political stability. How do we get more of that? Vote for the reform. Well, maintained. What does that do? Repair fairly enough. A percentage of modern infrastructure is staying at 30%. Well, currently, we have infrastructure maintenance already. Basic maintenance? Well, what, do we ha what, what level is this one at? This one is... Well, it doesn't tell you what it's at. I don't agree with that. But whatever. Alright, let's take a look. So, what do we have for infrastructure? Can we close this? Come on. Uh, let's see. Infrastructure. Private ventures only. Huh. Alright. Ban extremist parties. Limited conscription. Economics. Cultural. Governmental. Any, no elections, which is, like I said, very good. Free press. Non-socialist. 14-hour uh, workday. Suffrage. Demographics. Internal budget loss. It's probably down here. Yeah. We're on no budget. Okay. You know, why can't I just tell you that earlier? I guess it's just because of the symbols you should just know, but... Alright. No budget for that stuff. Well, maybe we should get through another one first. Build a Hoxie float top. Oh, it has to be after 18... Oh, come on. After 1860? What? Ah. And also, I'll let you know this is on historical, so it is what it is. Dissolve Iran free trade. Tree treaty with Prussia. Expand Berlin and Boza. Um, infrastructure construction speed... Maybe that'd be good to do. We'll subsidize the construction of new railway networks across the country. Our infrastructure will certainly benefit from it. Which would be a good thing once we build up some of the civilian factory stuff. Only 5 out of 15? Well, it's going to take so long to build. I got some naval and air XP. That's kind of nice. Alright, so let's go back over here and see what we can do about any of this stuff. Uh, it was this one. Infrastructure maintenance. Reform this law. Honestly, I think this should tell you, like, what level you're at. I mean, obviously, we all know mobilization laws, for the most part. And economic mobilization, but... You should be able to hover over and see, like, oh, currently it's selected to be XXX. But, let's see. Uh, network expansion. Because you hover over this. No budget. I guess that's what it means that you have already. No, rapid expansion. Let me do basic. Can we vote for it? Parliament, let's vote in a month. Let's vote in a month. Let's try it. Now, does that do anything for us? Now, Kingdom of Prussia's Parliament. Internal politics. Oh, nuclear missile command, population economy, space program. Conservative Party. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Do we have a decision for that, though? Countdown into the vote. Centrism, gather political legitimacy. 5% uh, political stability. Which, I guess it's maxed out at 2. There's nothing else we can really do here. Oh, here we go. Approval, 52% from the traditional conservative. We estimate that the vote will have 104 for the reform out of uh, 256. 128 is needed to pass the votes. Civil War in Mexico. Mexico descends in the Civil War. Teodoro von Montoya holds a speech. Okay, I don't really care then. Uh, so you make traditional conservative representatives. Uh, but most effective on parties on the fence, but most likely not be very effective on parties with staunch oppositions. Centrist approval 16.8%. Find compromises. Increase approval of parties with low approval, but decrease of approval of parties with high approval. Silence out opponents talk with the unions. Greatly increase approval of parties who believe in laissez fair and state capitalist economics. Vanguard communist socialist, uh, collective socialists. Those are egalitarians. Pressure the lobbies. Convince opposition leaders. Make political deals. Well, we have 124 political power. Uh, 
in our coalition. Well, we need more votes. Meet traditional conservative representatives. Uh, centrist. We'll do the centrist one because we could probably get more stuff right there, right? Sure, why not? We'll try it. And hopefully we can... Ex How much does it cost to expand the combat width of this? Five? Oh, that's not too bad. Five's not too bad. I like more artillery, though. Currently, we're... Oh my gosh, we're lacking so much. And it's going to be hard to produce things since... Well, actually, not too bad. 15 a day is not bad, but the game lags so hard. But after 1858, we made it through... Seven months? Maybe? Oh boy. Alright, so... Okay, so what do we have? 100... So we're not going to be able to pass anything. Approval went up a little bit more. Uh, meet centrist representatives. Well, I guess that's the voting system for you. Next time I'm just going to do it authoritarian and white like. So whatever. And it's going to fail probably. Russia and stand united. Our country is recently experiencing a period of peace and prosperity. And our people stand united under a flag. Diplomatic means, that's that's great. No opposition left. The opposition to the current governing body of the Kingdom of the Prussia is now de facto non-existent. Every single politician supports this, or at least is not against us, making the political climate in our country very relaxed. The Kingdom of Prussia is great. Okay, then. 107 votes. Voting results? Yay, nay. Today is the act of the government decides on the future of the Infrastructure Budget Act of 1858. All members from the different parties represented voted on what they believe is the right path forward for our nation. Whether we like the result or not, this vote is a representation of the will of our constituents. It's a failure. Well, okay, I'm going to be an, uh, an autocrat at this point, then. Um, political legitimacy. National stability. How do I raise national stability? How can I kick the, our guy out? Seriously, I, w I want to kick the guy out. He sucks. A royal marriage. Uh, Prince Wilhelm Friedrich of Prussia and Princess Victoria of England married today. This will benefit our nation and the Hohenzollern dynasty. Plus, it will improve our relations with the UK. Enjoy the honeymoon. Cool. So how does the sphere system work here? Because I've played more than enough 52 to understand the sphere system to a degree. Uh, Moldavia, Romania is no not here. Uh, there's no factions here, which is probably a good thing, actually. Oh, except for India. I guess they are the Sepoy Rebellion, of course. And America, well, it's America. And we do have cultures, which I think is cool and all, but Hudson Bay Company, nice. Canada doesn't exist, thank goodness. Oh, except it does over here. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Oh, Protestants. Oh, look at that. Dixie subculture. I kind of like that. Mississippi is Afro-American, which makes sense. Uh, Dixie, 32%. I mean, it actually makes a lot of sense why Louisiana, even Arkansas, and this part of Tennessee, because the river here, I forget what it's called, but it's, it's actually really, really important. Uh, especially for, you know, what happened down there. Napoleon III attacked with a bomb. Oh, boy. How will the French Empire react? We don't care. <laughs> Expand the Berlin Anhalt Railway. Uh, Zollverein foreign trade treaties. Originally, the Zollverein was a customs union intended to connect the German states, remove custom barriers, and manage economic policies within its territory. Despite having differences in culture and history, several countries are interested in trading with the Zollverein. After much discussion, it has been agreed that such treaties will ultimately benefit all member states. Hopefully, we can get through the entire book history. Look at that. Dixie, 56%. Florida split into two. Bavaria wants to play safe. A wise decision. Okay, well, good. Good luck with that. And Seminole. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, North Carolina, West Virginia, Okinawa, UK declared war on India, well, what else is new? You guys are mostly Dixie, but you come up here and it's Yankee. A bunch of bloody Yanks. Oh, what is this? Midwesterner, oh, okay. Indiana's Midwesterner, Illinois' Midwesterner, Thermodynamics Theories, okay. Well, Air Doctrines, Dream of Flight, Air Experience Gain, Oh. We can't do this stuff yet. We need balloon designs, huh? Oh, maybe that's this one? No. Dream of Flight, no. Naval stuff? A gunboat? I guess we'll research a gunboat, because we can. Follow it up with maybe some better artillery. Cognitive rockets. Uh, we probably don't want that. We probably want to get some better artillery, just period. Yeah, why not? Because, man, that game lags hard when trying to just get to research. Board guns, smooth barrel guns. I don't know which one's better. Let's see. RML fuel guns versus howitzers. Uh, RML is a muzzle-loaded field gun, a different type of artillery. Project fire, fire projectiles over comparably long distances. Defense, slightly better over here. This is better soft attack, though. Same piercing, slightly better, cheaper to cost. This gives you more breakthrough, though, so this is better on... Ah, uh, shoot. Eh. Oh, my goodness. This is why I don't play Black Ice. 
Uh, military vehicles. What do we have down here? Nothing there. It's all ahead of time. Bicycles. Oh, we haven't invented bicycles yet. Army support. Engineers. This is all way too ahead of time. And here, ahead of time, ahead of time. Uh, Yatagan bayonets. Ooh, camels. Prussian camels. Sign us up, please. Oh, we have three now. Hold a world. Oh, can we do that? We'll hold one in Berlin. It also costs a significant amount of legislative power and money. Oh, reward us with international recognition and prestige. And we're still only six in the world, so that actually might be really good to do then. How's the construction going? Well, we're at five. Can you keep building, please? Keep going. Keep going. Keep building more stuff here, too. It looks like we're not really able to build too much, but I guess that makes sense. Let's see. Oh, Friedrich, do you have anything for us? Offensive dude? Sure, why not? Infantry will be very, very offensive. Anyone have upgrades? No. And there goes the White Howl Army. Alright. Offensive Doctrine, because we like being offensive. And you guys have Cavalry, so probably Cavalry Expert. Yeah, we use a lot of Cavalry, which makes sense for the time period. So, um, What else do we have? Anything else that's... Oh, wow. Oh, what the heck? What's going on here? Why are you starving? What, hold on. What is going on here? What? Supplies? Oh my goodness. Mm. Please tell me this is a bug in the game. Or why did they start over there then? Am I going to lose these guys? Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Oh. Well, that's an experience. I can't move these guys out of here. And there's no way we can... Yeah, hmm. All y'all hold. Can you guys come to Essen, maybe? And at least get to, on top of the victory point, maybe? That'd be kind of good, but there's... N bad supply. Oh, yeah, there's no wonder it's a bad supply. I guess... <sighs> Alright, well, well, let's figure out where the... Oh my gosh, 6,000 slots? Hopefully not, hopefully not. You guys do that, that'd be good. Um, This one, too, I suppose. Yeah, this one. Um, I, I, we can't leave. Uh, is there any way I can get military access through anybody? No. How did I get over there then? We don't have ships, so I don't know. I legit don't know. Um, hmm. Well, those soldiers are going to die then because there's nothing we can do about this then. They're just starving for supplies. This is this is stupid. We can't do anything about this. Can we, is there a dock? Please tell me there's a dock or like a river. Can we go through rivers? Can we in like Kingdom of Hanover? Uh, let's see. Can we improve relations? Maybe. I don't want to lose these divisions. They're autoc autocratic. Okay. Uh, member of the German Confederation. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can get some military access so we can pull our guys out of here because. The game just wants to kill off our divisions. All right. Good start. Good start. Essen. I mean, obviously they can't support that many divisions, but still. Come come hang out, Essen, and you come hang out in Dusseldorf. How are the Austrian divisions? Looking kind of weak, which makes sense. Oh, they actually have engineers, huh? How are these people doing? Led by von Bock. Okay, well. Recent revolutions. Yeah, they did the revolution of 1848 with the uh, Hungarians. Yeah, I can't think of the word there. Where's their manpower? Oh, a million. It's a lot. It's a lot of dudes. But this is not nice. This is really not good. How? Oh, Tokugawa Imo Imochi is selected Shogun. Okay, Ido has a new occupant. Um, I, I really don't know. Help menu? Empty. Oh, that's good. All empty buttons. All right, well, how about we have a trade treaty with France, maybe? Maybe we'll do that. And then maybe end the episode and I can read all your comments about what to do, what to select. So, a trade treaty with France. No matter how we stand with the French, our country is rich. And we can certainly benefit from expanding trade between our nations. So, if you like this video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we are going to be struggling with starving soldiers for some reason. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.